Okay, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will show you how to edit the content on your website. So first of all, we're going to log into the back end of the website, um, which is usually your website address, and then forward slash administrator at the end. And we're going to open a new tab and also open up your front end of the website. This is what everyone else sees on the World Wide Web. Okay, so um, we're going to type in the username and password. If you're one of my clients, I would have uh, sent you this information. And once we log in, you'll see a couple of different menu items here, but the easiest way to navigate is through here. You can do it through here. All right, so we're going to go to content. That's everything that's on the website. Article manager. Articles are basically web pages. So as you can see here, you've got home, about, fact, kids, food, you, and you can see here, all of them correspond. All right, say we want to change something in you. <laughs> um, okay, so we just click the article you. Edit all the content that we want to put on there, right there, and save. Okay, so once we've done that, we'll look at the changes made on the front end, and bam, there it is. If we wanted to add, say, an image, we put the cursor wherever we want to put, uh, want the image, then we select image. I've um, opened a directory specifically for images for you to upload to, so just click photos. I've already done two test ones here, but if you would like different photos, simply just click browse and that'll open up your computer and then you can select a photo from your files and hit start upload when you're done. When you finish, it'll appear in this box here. So this one, one that we've done before is a wallpaper. So uh, make sure to fill out the image description so I'd say um, wallpaper of space and I'd put the same title on there just to make it nice and easy and quick. We can set the align so we can make it appear to the left or the right. I'm going to make it appear to the left and insert. As you can see here it's rather big because I haven't edited it at all. Um, I probably recommend for a site like this, um, this size would be about 600 pixels. So when you're taking photos or editing them, just keep in mind that 600 pixels wide is probably the, the, the largest you want to go. It doesn't matter how long you want it, but just don't go past 600 pixels wide. Um, so if we want to edit that here, we can just click on the image and hit this image button up the top here and we can actually change the dimensions. So I wouldn't go past 600 so let's make it 590 and hit update. And as you can see it's made it a lot smaller. So we'll save that and we'll see what it looks like at the front. And bam, there you go, beautiful picture. Okay, so to just to delete that page is you select the image and backspace. This works very similar to Word or any other um, document editing program that you've got there. Backspace. Okay, so we've got it back to normal again or back to how we had it. And we'll just check that in the front end before we're completely happy. Beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. So that's how you edit your content from your website.